morning. It's time to head out. We have a special guest. Chevy. Mm. Yeah, you excited? You excited? Mm. So it is our first trip back on the road since Theo was born. Uh, we're just going on one trip this week. Just a little bit of a rounder. We're taking Chevy with us. We're headed out to Kenora. We've got to pick up a little lumber, tarp it, bring it down to Minnesota. And then head on back home. And uh, home to see Theo again. So I got a pretty good sleep this night. Britt took the night shift with, with the baby. And uh, I got up early, got all my stuff here. Now I got to load it up into Old Blue. I didn't get a chance to wash Old Blue before we left. But I also wasn't expecting to take this trip this early. I was actually, I had actually booked a little bit more time off. But instead of just like going like bam, back into like full time runs, I'm gonna ease us into it so that Brick can get used to the new schedule, taking care of the baby at home and the dogs. I got Chevy with me this week, sort of eases the workload she has at home. Wanna see how this goes. Let's get her started up and let's get out there. Well, we've got everything in, but definitely not organized yet. It's my GoPro. I think I'm still gonna be using these for a couple of shots here and there, maybe on the road. Well, Chevy, how's it been so far? So far, we've just been bobtailing. I just backed under a 53-foot step. It's empty, it's a tandem, and it felt good. It felt good. You ready, Chevy? You gonna help me hook up? No? I haven't hooked up in a while, man. I hope I remember how. <laughs> I think it's been, what, five weeks? Time to get back to work. Just hooked up. I'm gonna throw my tarps up on the trailer here yet. Like I said, it's a tandem. Empty. That's perfect because I need an empty trailer. I saw a bunch of loaded trailers. I didn't want those ones. No, I need an empty one. I'm gonna kick all the tires just to make sure they have air in them. You know, high quality pressurized air, not just any air. And a lot of air, you know. We need it to be pressurized. High quality. It's springtime, so you need to fill them with spring air. I guess I gotta turn the lights on to check the lights, right? Hook them up. First, let's just check the tires, because I don't even want to hook onto it if it's, uh... I don't even want to hook onto it if it doesn't have properly inflated tires. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Getting back into the swing of things. A little bit of a short trip. It's gonna be a bit of a long day today though, because we're picking this trailer up here. We're going to Kenora, we're gonna load it up, we're gonna tarp it. We're gonna drive down to Brainerd and hopefully get unloaded before 10 o'clock tonight. That's when they close. If I can get unloaded tonight, that's great. If not, I'll do it in the morning, but I'd rather get unloaded tonight. Well, Chevy, so far so good. We've made it this far. Look at this, hurry up and wait. Man, that's what it's all about. Teaching them about trucking. We're at the Petrol Pass in Deacon's Corner. These guys are taking a long time. 
I know, right? This guy right here. First time using a pump, maybe. I don't know. Just trying to figure it out. It's been a while. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> it's been a while since you've been trucking with me. It's kind of interesting to have a, a nice young pup in the truck again. I didn't have to set up the stairs, I just opened the door and before I could think of anything, whoop, he just popped right in there. I remember when Diesel did that all the time. Now Diesel needs his old man steps, right? Yeah. Okay, we're at Deacon's Corner. We filled up fuel, 710 liters, 183 US gallons, I believe. Cost about $1,100. Woohoo! Uh, didn't miss that at all, but hey, it used to be a lot worse. It's $1,100 Canadian, so we're talking like 800 bucks American. Let's go grab our load and head down south. man let's take you out get you out of the truck get me out of the truck look at that thing that's pretty cool eh? we're at the scale right before the Ontario border the scale is right behind me over there and once we start loading I won't have any time to let Chevy out stretch his legs until I'm done and tarped I figured we'd stop here. Oh, this looks like a big pile of garbage though. Come on, Chef. There you go. Yeah, we'll go around it. Big pile of mud and dirt. This is actually snow underneath here, I bet. Yeah, you can sort of still see it there. Snow underneath there. It's just it can't melt because all this dirt is up here on top of it. Sure is a beautiful day though. It's about seven degrees Celsius outside. Beautiful day to be trucking. Chevy, don't eat anything. Chevy, Chevy. What are you doing, man? That is rule number one of the truck stops. You don't eat anything off the ground. That's disgusting. All right, bud. Let's show them what you can do. Let's show them you don't need no steps, okay? It's not proper English yet. Sorry, grammar. Okay. You ready? You ready? Show them what you can do. Go on up. Now that's impressive. <laughs> Good boy. Ready to go, Dad. Let's go trucking.
Well, Chevy, you're getting to know the realities of trucking very quickly. Hurry up and wait. I got here on time. I checked in on time. Everything was good, right? The only problem is that about 10 other people also got here on time at the same time and checked in on time. Right before me. Oh, trucking. Did we miss this? Yes. Yes, we did. Even the bad parts. You know, you just gotta love the job. So we're gonna wait around here for a little while. I'm not gonna get as loaded. Uh, not gonna get as loaded as quickly. I'm not gonna get loaded as quickly as I had hoped for because all of us have to tarp our loads. So like I said, there's ten trucks in front of me. Literally. I think there's maybe nine. Nine or ten. And all of them gotta get loaded. Which only takes like 20 minutes each. And there's like four or five guys here loading. It won't take long to get loaded. It's the tarping. There's only two tarp stations and we're only allowed to tarp our load in those two tarp stations. And we have to tarp it before we leave their yard. We can't go tarp it somewhere else. We have to. So we all have to bottleneck through these two garages where we can tarp our load, right? And that's fine. It's just that some people are slower than others. And I'm not too sure how slow or how fast the 10 drivers in front of me are at tarping their loads. So once I get loaded, I'm going to have to get in line to go get tarped. And, you know, it could take like an hour each. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's say, filling up both of them, five sets in front of me. And if they each take an hour to two hours, yeah, we're not going to get out of here for like another like five to eight hours. I mean, that sounds like a big number, right? But doing the math in my head now, it's going to be dark by the time we leave here. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to make my delivery. I mean, well, I'm going to make my delivery. They're, they're like expecting me there tomorrow morning, but they unload until 10 tonight. I think I was telling you this before, right? And I was hoping, hoping that I'd be able to get there tonight, unload tonight, because I have a reload three hours south of Brainerd in a town called uh, Lake, Lake something? Lake Crystal? No. Lake, yeah, Lake Crystal, Minnesota. Small little town, three hours straight south from Brainerd. I was hoping to get there tonight, or close to there tonight, so I could reload there first thing in the morning and be on the way back. You know, there's always the plan, and then there's what actually happens. And they're usually pretty far apart. So, right now, our plan is starting to drift away from our planned time of destination. Destination's still the same. Does any of this make sense? I couldn't believe it. I pulled in here. I was like, yeah, we made it on time. Usually I'm in and out of here and like, well, I shouldn't say usually. Lately before like Theo was born, I come here quite often. I'd come in here like maybe two, three hours. Loaded, bada bing, bada boom. You're out of here. Tarped up, wrapped up, buttoned up, down the road. But that's when there's no lineup in front of me. Everybody showed up like right at the end of the day. And there's trucks behind me yet. One, two, three. There's like four trucks behind me yet that I can see. Then it goes around the corner back there. Wowzers. Man, as long as I get loaded and tarped tonight at some point, we'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Get as far as we can. Maybe we'll go to Deer River and sleep there. Chevy, load it up. Your first load in a while, eh? Let's go take a look. All right, I'm gonna show them how, how well you tarp this, okay? Look what Chevy did. I'm just kidding, I did it. But we're gonna give him the credit so he feels cool. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Would not want to be on that ice right now. It's getting real thin. Nice and warm. My tarps are pretty, pretty dirty still from the winter. Have not had a chance to clean them yet. Here we go. Okay, Chev, let's, uh, come. Come, let's get away from the garbage there. Again, you cannot eat anything on the ground, okay? If you're gonna ride in the truck with me, the one rule is you do not eat anything that's not in your food bowl. Okay. Beautiful area here, eh? Hey, Chev. 
Chevy, you want to go on a little adventure with me? Come on, Chef. Come on. Careful. Careful. You want to go down first? Okay, you got four-wheel drive. Come on, let's go check out the little river. Oh, are those burrs? Please tell me those aren't burrs. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right, that's your piece of grass there. Gotcha. I'm gonna go claim one over here. I think I'm gonna claim one of these trees here, actually. They're showing a lot of promise. Good young trees. Last summer I was here and I saw a beaver swimming around down here. So there's gotta be a beaver dam very close by. So there's like a culvert that goes underneath the road here. The water's flowing that way. Guessing there's probably a dam around the corner or something. Can you get any closer? Not really, eh? Chevy, where are you? You hiding behind me? You say there was beavers? <laughs> Sounds scary. They're not that scary. We used to have some on our property where we lived, remember? Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, man, you lead the way up, okay? Let's go back up to the truck. Do you know the way, Chev? Do you know where you're going? So good, Chevy. Your first little adventure on the road? Yeah. Don't worry, we don't do that every day. <laughs> Such an indoor dog, doesn't want to get his fur dirty and his paws dirty. <laughs> so our paperwork has been sent into the border. We should be clear by the time we get there. Chevy, it's been a while since you've been to the United States. You excited? I'm always excited to go visit the US. So we've got 499 kilometers, 500 kilometers or 300 miles to go. Definitely not gonna make it today uh, by 10. It's 6.30 right now. 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. We're gonna be there after midnight, probably one in the morning. That means we can get going tomorrow. It's gonna be tight. Cause I have to be three hours south of there before end of day tomorrow. Okay, so we don't have a lot of time to mess around here. That's the only adventure for today, okay, Chevy? We'll go for a walk once I stop for night. Okay, is that cool? All right, we gotta get going. The places to be, stuff to deliver. People are counting on us. Well, they're counting on you, all right? You keep me awake, all right? And if I get tired, you start driving. Okay, you just take the wheel if I fall asleep. We're all counting on you, Chev, okay? You're the code driver. You got a lot of responsibility.
This is those breather lights at night. I think they look awesome. I like it. This is where we're gonna call it a night tonight. Fort Francis, Ontario. I'm just too tired to keep going. A bunch of us here. So, it's a popular stopping spot for guys on the way down, because there's nowhere to stop. There's no truck stops around here. This is the truck stop. From here, the closest truck stop would be Deer River, about two, two hours down the road into the US. I just don't got two hours in me. It's pretty late already. I'm gonna go to bed. We're gonna finish this tomorrow. You ready for one last walk, Chevy? Take you out one more time? Let's try and make this a little quick, okay? You don't have to rush, but I, I do need to get to bed. So you can see the new visor up here. I'm really happy with it. And those lights, they're not too bright from inside here. I can actually change them to the, the lower setting where they're a little bit dimmer. But, no, yeah, we're doing just fine. Makes me more visible on the road and that's always safer, right? So thanks for hanging out with us. It's been nice to get the wheels rolling again, but and I do miss home at the same time. Big combination of both. Sort of tears you in two different directions, right? But we have to keep the, the wheels moving. Whether we like it or not, we gotta keep these wheels moving. So it's a good thing I like my job. It could be worse. I could be doing a job that I absolutely hate. I don't know how people can do that. You hear people talking about it all the time. Oh, how I hate their job. They hate going to their job in the morning. They hate spending all their time there. They hate what they do. How can you spend so much of your life doing something you hate doing? It's gotta be torture. Why are you torturing yourself? Unless you're making like millions of dollars, then I understand again. So money does speak volumes. Now, oh well. Take care, everybody. It's Trucker Josh signing out. And Chevy. Trucker Josh and Chevy. Want to say bye, Chevy? Hey, come here. Diesel used to pop up on my lap. You want to? No? No? <laughs> One sec. Chevy, you want to say bye? Want to say bye? Bye, guys. It's been a very fun day. Dad's truck is very noisy. Very, it makes me kind of nervous, but I'm getting used to it, I think. I, uh, I miss home, but uh, the truck's got very fancy lights. It's very cool. Diesel's jealous, so that makes it a little worth it. You gonna go to bed now? Yes. Good night, everybody. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.